10 days ago he started against the same ball club had one of his best starts all season long seven innings five hits 10 K's for Mr. Bassett and he gets him with a sinker Bassett strikes out Cruz for the first out of the night. Well two starts ago in Pittsburgh Bass Bassett threw a gem against this club. And 10 strikeouts in seven innings, one run. He was in complete command. Here's Brian Reynolds, two for eight in this series. Reynolds smacks one into left. And that's a good swing. Talk about getting on top. And a weak ground ball hit to McNeil. The flip to Lindor and back to first in time for the double play. Side retired. 20th ground ball double play generated by Bassett this season. 4 6 3 to get him out of the first. Bryce Wilson. Looking to pick up his fourth win of the year, 18th start. Working, getting that ERA down. Boy, there's a good change up. And that's a pitch up for Bryce Wilson. Heck of a start to his night, back to back strikeouts. I'd say so. Very impressive. Hard to forget, he's just 24 years old. I mean, he's got some big league experience, but he's still a very young guy. In the air to Reynolds. One, two, three as McNeil is retired. Nothing, nothing after one. And Gamble leads off in the second. Here's the eighth pitch to Gamble. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. A 1 1 rolled along the first baseline, fielded behind the bag by Alonzo. Trots to first himself in plenty of time to beat Mitchell. Side retired. A walk to Vogel back, places runners on the corners. Two men away, and Eduardo Escobar coming up. Here's Escobar, lifetime 415 hitter against the Pirates. And he oh. rockets one to deep right center field. Back goes Reynolds. He takes a look, and it's out of here. Eduardo Escobar with a three run homer. Number 18 for Escobar and the Mets jump in front three nothing. Well Escobar homered against Wilson in Pittsburgh takes him deep again and the Mets are off early. Fastball up and away. Belt high. Probably the middle of the plate. Escobar first ball fastball hitting and there was no doubt. There it is outer half. Belt high. Here's O'Neill Cruz who struck out his first time up. Three and two to Cruz. And he struck him out. Foul tip. Held by McCann. Cruz's helmet goes flying. And Bassett has his third strikeout. Second time he's gotten Cruz. So far tonight, Bassett bouncing back from a rough outing against the Cubs. And, and he gets him with a slider. So Reynolds is a strikeout victim. That's the fourth for Bassett. And the first out of the fourth. It's two down. Runners on the corners now as Cal Mitchell will be the batter. One two coming. Runner goes swung and missed strike three. Five strikeouts for Chris Bassett. He throws up a fourth zero and it's three nothing New York. Canna's at third Vogelback is at first. Mets are trying to add to their three to nothing lead. And a fly ball to center Reynolds. Under it. Squeezes and it remains. A 3 nothing Mets lead through four. It's the Mets three the Pirates nothing top of the Pittsburgh order to face Chris Bassett starting with O'Neill Cruz and Cruz goes down on the changeup. Good pitch by Bassett for his sixth strike out of the night. Third time he's gotten Cruz fastballs curveballs and finally finishes them off with a changeup on the inside corner Reynolds caught looking seven K's for Bassett. So the wild pitch moves Castro to third and Gamble to second. Hayes looking for his first hit in the series. Curveball struck him out. Bassett with back to back curveballs strikes out Key Brian Hayes to strand two in scoring position. Bassett strikes out three in the inning, eight for the night. He's got six scoreless and a three nothing lead. That's one for seven with men in scoring position. Bases remain loaded, two out. And Brandon Nimmo will be the batter. And Brandon takes ball four, and that'll force in a run. The third walk in four batters given up by Eric Stout. That chases home Tyler Naquin to make it 4 0 New York. And now, something the Mets have been anxious to see how David Peterson fares out of the bullpen. And a good changeup to strike out Chavis. 
three pitches, curveball, slider, change up, and Chavis is down on strikes, two out. Let's have runners on the corners with two outs. And the outfield shades to right for Vientos, who's one for 13 so far in the majors. Did he yep. go? He did. So Chase DeYoung gets the strikeout, keeps those two on the bases, and go to the eight. Vientos not a bit happy. Four nothing Mets. And the Mets on the bases loaded for Alonzo. But he takes it high, ball four, and he had one rather than four. That's 114 RBIs. Mets draw their second bases loaded walk of the night. Good grief. As Escobar comes home to make it 5 0. Not a stellar brand of ball. Pirates come to bat in the ninth inning. They trail 5 0 here in New York. Rodolfo Castro's had a nice day at the plate. Two out of three, double and a single. Castro drives one deep to right center field. Way gone. Rodolfo Castro clears the deck. And that breaks the shutout bid. That is his 10th home run. 5 1. Wow. And that's no cheapy. My goodness. Real man pop right there. I mean, that is uh, pretty much a no doubter the other way. And there's some lefties mm. that can't hit a ball that deep to that part of the ballpark. Just uh, out over the plate, the extension. He knew it. Now Adam Adovino on to try and get the final two outs. And low topper back to Adovino, and the ball game is over. The Mets win their third in a row, six scoreless innings for Chris Bassett, a good relief outing for David Peterson, the big blow by Eduardo Escobar, and the Mets keep it rolling. They've taken the first three from the Pirates, winning tonight, five to one. Well, the Mets continue to do what they have to do here at home. They've taken the first three from the Pirates. Brilliant game pitched by the Mets pitching staff. And they will look and see how the game ends up in Atlanta.